Hey there, welcome back to Phantom Brigade. Dan here with No Games for Old Men. We are resting and resupplying at the main base in Hosford Province, which we just liberated last episode. We've also built our sixth mech unit. That is now complete, so we're gonna build that first. They've auto-named it Guardian 9, which is pretty good, it's pretty good. I think I want this guy to be a missile launcher guy. Like this this ML10 Starburst has really been an interesting weapon to be on the receiving end of. I think I would like to make some use of it myself. So this is the best one we have available to us. It doesn't have any um Oh, it does! It does have upgrades. Weapon cooling. Oh, it's locked, though. Is that what that means? It's just stuck with these. Those are those are what... Yeah, that's all it gets. Okay, so... That's, that's the little, that little symbol. That is a lock symbol. Okay, so we have... It's... Kind of hot. Well, let's see. It, we've got... Peak heat. Okay, so 62... So I couldn't even fire this twice in a turn if I wanted to. So we need to work on heat management on this thing. So I'm not really sure... What's its range? Two? So I could fire at point-blank range or up to 140 meters. So it's got pretty good range. So I don't think I necessarily need this to be a light fast. I could go medium on this guy. Or I, oh, I could make him a heavy, actually. Maybe I go Elbrus. Let's see. Barrier generation, heat capacity. So this Elbrus is 115. How interesting that the... Does it have... Let me look at the... Let me look at the thing. That's the one, again, I think I complained about this a couple of episodes ago, that I can't click on this and have it stick to the screen. Here, so that I can look at the... Ugh, okay, forget it. <laughs> this, however, I can, so... No, I can't. I can't do that either. So, alright, fine, we're gonna do... We're going to apply it. That boosted our heat dissipation. Or did it? What was our heat dissipation now? 37. And if I put this on... Oh, it actually lowers our heat dissipation. So we need to do something. So what does this have? Improved cooling. Do I have... That... Very regeneration. That, that would be helpful. Uh, maybe then I need heat capacity. So this one does 100 heat capacity and 10.5 heat dissipation. So the standard, but it also gives me 132 barrier regeneration, which is nice. So if I put this on though, that would boost my dissipation to 39. Take off. E capacity dissipation. 115. So the charger could be good because that's got 115 capacity, whereas the standard is just 100. So. Hmm. Charger overdrive. No. Okay. Alright, so I think we'll go with this for now. Elbrus. So we got the gray legs right now. Let's see if I've got anything better. Ooh, here we go. Some tier 8. Uh oh. Is the music about to swell really loud again? Jeez, it's so bizarre. It's, it's like... It gets super loud sometimes. Alright, let's do... Let's put these on. 
Oh. What does this do? Affects movement speed of the unit through a variety of trade-offs. What are those trade-offs? Alright, so that just boosted my speed by one. That's it. Arms. This is going to slow him down. Cons well, not really considerably. Not too bad. This makes him a little heavier, but improves heat dissipation. Tier 8 arms, though. That, those might... Blackbird. It's gonna slow me down a lot, but heat dissipation will be better. Let's try this. And then heat sink. That actually improves heat dissipation. So... Let's see. This arm... Boy, he's going to be really slow then. Ah, here we go. Put that one on. We'll leave that light plate. Because that's what I think is contributing to the speed. Not being quite so terrible. Okay, so let's paint this dude. No, we want full body full body there we go okay I kind of like that paint job for him and then for his weapon it's missiles so I kind of want something something that looks dangerous that maybe That looks kind of cool. Go with that. Okay. Now, whoops. What is happening? I want... There we go. All right, secondary weapon. He can... Let's see, shields or handguns, mostly. SMGs. Granite. HG1 granite handgun. Or do I go with a shield? Alright. There we go. I like it. Now we can exit. Go back to our world map. And let's see what we want to do. We are... Here in Hosford Province, we still have not figured out how to deal with this cache. That's what this mine's target mission is. Go here, recover the cache, but I can't. I've been in there. I've sat in the spot for hours. I've left it and come back to trigger it, because that's what happened. That's That worked with the mail quest that wouldn't complete, but I don't know what to do. So we do have this other little paranorm paranormal... Paranormal. I, I just assumed that said paranormal. My brain corrected it. Paranormal? Is there like a ghost cat over here? We might need to go check that out. Alright, so let's head that direction. And we have we are full on liquid fix. Let's boost our speed. Alright, we are about to invade this other province, which really we don't need to. It's on the way to... I mean, it's not on the way to... Oh, what's happening here? Outpost. Oh, you know what we should do? We should contest the province so we can start... Let's just start working on Maple. Why not? What do we have? Yeah, we gotta get all the way down here. Uh, 
Or I could just ignore, I could not contest the province. You know what? We're gonna contest the province. Of course we are. 173, let's watch, let's see how, how high that boosts once we call in the home guard to have them start fighting. 173. It's staying at 173? Okay. Oh, there we go. 220. <laughs> 228. Okay, so radio for help. Reputation 6. Call in home guard. Forces to aid in this fight at the cost of a reputation point. The strength of their forces will depend on your total reputation. Attain victory with no home guard losses to increase reputation by a point. Okay, so if you manage to not lose any home guard, you get that reputation back. Otherwise, you don't, and you've got to do more stuff to increase your reputation. So, do we want to do this? Or do we block scans instead to drop strength to 173? I think we're going to do that. We're going to do that. That should make this an easier fight for us. Okay, so I want to try out the new mech. So let's take... Let's swap... Oh yeah, this. All right, we're gonna put Lone Star in the missile mech now, and we'll see how it goes. Kind of excited to try it. Okay, they do have a couple of mechs here. Two mechs, at least one tank. I see a turret, two turrets. So as long as we stay out of their way, and they're behind. So unless they've got long range as well, we can, we can really conduct this fight in this area here. All right, first thing we're gonna do is see how the shooting works. Uh, so nobody is shooting at Lone Star at the moment, so we're just gonna... we're just gonna plug away and start our attack. So who do we want to shoot? Let's go there, and... Wow, you can get another attack. Let's just unload on this. There we go. We'll do that. <laughs> and what is the scatter? There is no scatter, so I could just move her in. While this is happening. Oh, that guy is shooting at her. Alright, who is this? What, and what is he shooting? An assault rifle. So his attacks will be not great. And it's also blocked. And because he's not moving, I can just leave her stationary. Glitch. Let's put you... Actually, no. Let's First, let's move Bookworm. Uh, Bookworm, are you taking any any hits? You are... So we are going to run you up. Actually, let's dash you. That's a melee. There we go. All right, dash you up. And while you're there, now we're going to shield you right about there against this guy. And you're going to be running. He's running. He's turning around. Can't have that. 
All right, is there a way? I think that might be too far. Yeah, that's gonna be too far. So, let's see, what if I do this? What if I dash him again? Like, to here, and then can I melee? Ooh, it looks like I can. Oh, sweet. All right. We won't see the end result until the beginning of the next turn, but that should be fun. Okay, can I leap? Oh, that's a depression. I thought that was a... We don't want to get him in there. Uh, hmm. All right, maybe we just run him. All right, he's going to follow. Once he gets down off this hill, then we're going to launch him forward. And then he's going to get up here. Actually, what if I cross him behind? Does he have shots on the other on the other enemies here? No, we are behind this hillside here. All right, so let's Let's do another dash this way. Whoop, that's going to be a collision. him up on top of this hill, then we can start plugging. Blocked. Still blocked, huh? All right. Then we're going to run you from here up to here. There we go. Okay, you can only get one attack off. Except if we start attacking right here. And we should be able to get a second one. There we go. Yes. Two attacks. One of them, that one will be partially blocked. Okay, so let's move this all the way to the end and then move this up against it. And let's see. Blocked just for a little bit. Well, actually, maybe about half of it. But so maybe we'll push this even farther. Okay. Good as it's gonna get, I think. And Malachi, I think you are in a bad spot. So, what if we were to jump you up to here? And from here, can you launch an attack? Blocked. Rats. And he isn't moving, is he? All right, then in that case, maybe I dash you this direction. No, nope, we're gonna run you then to here. And then we will dash you again to there. And then we will hopefully take that angle next time. But we're not gonna shoot yet because we, we're gonna have we're going to have glitch in the way there. We don't want to hit. I want to see all these rockets. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh. Wow. And then the the melee strike. All right, let's look at it from this perspective. That was cool. Wow, that was so neat. Gee whiz. Poor guy. Didn't know what... Oh, he was turning around, too. So we might have done some good uh, good damage to him there. Uh, otherwise, that was it. Let's see. Any damage to the tank? A bit. Not enough. 
All right, what is happening to this guy? Is he crashing? Yeah, because we took his legs out, probably. Tripped him up. So... Let's see, let's have him finish that melee attack. Take a step away. Like to here. And then do another one, and let's see if we can hit both of these guys in the same melee swipe. Let's see if that works. And in the meantime, Glitch, you're gonna keep plugging away at this tank. Oh, or... Let's see. He's gonna be taking shots... ...from the mech, but that is blocked. The tank is getting a really good shot on him, so I think maybe what we'll do instead is we'll dash him. Oh, you're hot. Alright, let's da uh, run you this way then. Actually, run him backwards down off the hill. To there. And then he's gonna wait... ...until all the shooting's done. And then he's gonna come back up to here... That is blocked as well. There we go. And get a couple of shots on this tank. Or... No. We're actually gonna run him up to here. There we go. Hmm, not the greatest shots. I wonder if maybe... Is there something else I could be doing? Alright, well, this mech will be taking a melee strike, so hopefully... Hopefully that'll be good. Alright. You, Malachi, are gonna unload on the tank. We need you to take him out. So, let's see, I saw it blocked at the beginning. And blocked entirely. Yikes. Okay, so right there. So we're gonna move the attack to the end of the turn. That's that's not good. Alright, let's move you then. See if putting you up here and back a bit will help us out at all. So, not really. I mean, that's kind of a crap shot, but... Okay, well, I can't move him back much farther, though. Alright, Lone Star, you still got a bunch of rockets in the air. I'm kind of concerned about Bookworm, actually. I wonder if I want to wait... We could go... Actually, we could put rockets into this guy. Let's do that. And then cool down a skosh, and then put rockets into this. So once Bookworm is done with this attack, we're going to run him back immediately because we want him out of the way of the rockets that are incoming. Alright, let's see how this goes. We'll look at the melee strike first. Alright, take it a step back. Oh, oh my goodness! Okay, that was a good shot. And I th think we got rid of the tank over here. Up the hill. Plants his feet, turns, fires, annihilates the forest. And how did... Glitch do? Okay, avoided the shots. Alright. Not bad. Ooh, wow, what is, what, what is that one? 193% of impact damage? What is that? 
Huh. All right. Planning. We are down to just one, one mech, and that's him. He is finishing an attack. And then he's going to run, and then he's just going to shield. So we're going to have to take him out before he can do all of that. Uh, let's see, are there rockets incoming? Oh, geez, there are. Okay, so they're going to hit... Did I tell her... Who did I tell her to attack? Mm, I don't remember. So I think we're going to want Bookworm out of the way. So we're going to move him over here. Because I think all those rockets are going to be hitting in this area here. So if I put him here, and then wait for them to land... I should be able to get a good melee strike here. And then we'll have him move off. Oh, where's that turret? Oh, we are in no danger of the turrets. Boy, where do I want him? I guess that's good. Alright, Glitch. You are going to keep plugging away. Uh, just two. Alright. Do you even have eyes on this guy? Sure do. And Lone Star, uh, I think we'll just have you move in. Chase your rockets to the target. We might need you next turn if we don't take this guy out this turn, but I'm pretty sure we will. Alright, let's look at it from Bookworm's side first. Since that's going to happen first, I think. Right. I hope he doesn't trip over that direct. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. He's taking all kinds of hits in the back. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I didn't really uh, plan that one out very well, but. We did succeed. Alright, we've got a Bind works Workshop charge. We got 140 points to work with here. That puts us over budget, huh? Okay, then we will see we'll not even bother with that. And that we cannot bother with that or that. And that puts us. Are there any that are... Yeah, I don't have any fives. Bummer. Okay, well, we're just going to lose five points then. It's alright. Do I even need this? Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll hang on to it. We'll take a look at it. it. Might be a better... Might be an upgrade for somebody, since I've got three mechs with shields now. Alright, negative 18 to the enemy power. And Escalation is up by 60. Whoopsie doodle. All right, we are now contesting Province of Maple. The ghost location is way over here in the Movatan village. What do we have here? A town. This is the one thing that Home Guard wants us to take out. So do we dip to the right and take that out before we continue on to, to this area here? Or do we speed here as quickly as we can? Oh, not sure. All right, let's take a look at this new shield. How does it affect us? It does not have any barrier. So we'll probably scrap the tier four at the very least. 
else has a shield. This one also has barrier. This one, tower shield is almost all barrier. So this would be a big increase in integrity. Like, huge. 1,400 points in integrity. Big cost in speed, though. Not sure it's worth it. Although, man, those missiles really, really flew far. So maybe we go with this. We take the hit in speed, knowing that this mech can just unleash hell. Let's just try it. We'll see what happens. We might switch back to it if we don't like it. But... We'll try it. Okay, so it looks like we might have a couple of... Uh, patrols in our way as well, but I think I kind of want to just head down this direction and see see what this paranormal ghost location is all about. Um, that'll be next episode, though, or actually it'll probably be a couple episodes from now since it's going to take me a little bit to get down there. But uh, thanks for watching this episode of Phantom Brigade. Hope you're having a great day. We'll catch you next time.